Hi everyone, I'm Tammy from Minerva. It's definitely got a lot colder recently and I thought this would be the perfect time to start sewing cardigans. In this video, I'm gonna share four different sewing patterns and fabric pairings to help you recreate a really cozy cardigan at home. Cardigans are such a staple garment in any sort of autumn winter wardrobe. So if you're looking for something long and snug or even short and chic to sew, I've got you covered because I'm gonna share a range of different sewing patterns in this video. The first pattern that I wanna talk about is the named clothing Esme cardigan. It has a gorgeous maxi length and a really nice oversized fit for that nice casual but relaxed look. This cardigan features a wide button closure, large inseam front pockets, drop shoulders and a rolled up cuff for a more casual look. I really love the look of this pattern and they recommend to use heavyweight to medium weight knits with at least 20 to 40% stretch. So you're thinking your sweatshirting, your cable knits, teddy fabric, anything really with a bit of structure to it because I think in this pattern the pocket detail needs a bit of structure for it to lay perfectly. So I came across our waffled texture knit fabric in this really gorgeous ivory shade. This is so soft, I can't believe how soft this is if I give you a bit of a close-up you'll be able to see the texture of the fabric a lot clearer so you can see the waffle detail and it's nice and stretchy as you can see and it's honestly so fluid I absolutely love how this moves this is definitely a I would say a light to medium weight fabric obviously you can definitely still sew this pattern with a lighter to medium weight fabric probably just means that the pocket detail you might need to specifically interface that area for a bit more structure to it but it falls beautifully and honestly the fabric is so cozy when I squeeze it like that it literally feels like a blanket something about a long cardigan in a light shade just looks so chic to me. I don't know what it is, but I came across this really nice H&M cardigan and it kind of reminded me you could definitely recreate that look with a nice light fabric with the Esme cardigan pattern. One of our Minerva makers, Judith D Creations, actually made the Esme cardigan recently and I love how her version turned out. That textured grey fabric and again that maxi length cardigan just looks stunning on her and I absolutely love that sort of style for autumn winter. I think I also like that on her version you can see the texture of the fabric really nicely which is why I was drawn to the waffle knit fabric because I personally like sewing things with a bit of texture to it because obviously this is just a block colour it's just a plain ivory shade so when you have a bit of texture to it it gives it a bit more of an interesting detail again that is what the texture looks like it's so soft and cozy and I really love how this fabric would look in that pattern so the next pattern that I wanted to share is the Kim Cardigan by Vicky Sews so this one is definitely a lot more glam but I really like the actual garment they have in the product images I think it looks so chic and expensive the Kim cardigan pattern has a very close fitting style and an accentuated waist it features a really gorgeous wrap front detail and it has a nice deep V neckline and close fitting sleeves and I just love the whole vibe of this pattern this is giving me that perfect sort of top where you want to go out in the evening but you still want to be nice and warm but you also want to look stylish I think this is kind of a perfect solution for that type of garment and I like on this pattern that from the back you can see the wrap front detail so you can see the little string at the back I think it's such a nice detail and it gives it a bit more of an interesting take the pattern recommends to use high stretch fabrics that are soft and medium weight so I fell in love with that rib knit that they use on the actual product images and I wanted to find something really similar on our website so this is the meat milk ottoman rib knit fabric in the shade deep green can we just look at how gorgeous this fabric is look at that detail oh I love this I know this is going to make such a good pairing with this pattern it just looks so expensive and luxurious in person let me give you a close-up of the actual detail so this is what the fabric looks like you can see that really nice obvious ribbed knit texture as you can see it's nice and stretchy and it just feels so soft to touch I love that so that's the right side and then the wrong side looks like that you can really tell a difference between the right and the wrong side this one is a lot more prominent with the ribbing oh even just up against me I love that color that is going to look so nice because with this pattern it feels like you need a fabric with a tiny bit of drape because obviously it's going to wrap around you and it's quite close fitting so I think this is going to be such a nice pairing together I saw another one of our Minerva makers Sophie Sews actually made the Kim cardigan in a knit fabric recently and I love her version 
version. I was thinking if you want a bit more of a luxe vibe and you kind of don't want to use a bright colour, using a neutral colour like she has makes such an expensive and chic look. I think when you use a rib knit in this pattern, you can just see the texture of the fabric and that really helps elevate the whole look together. So I think in this pattern specifically, I would definitely choose a rib knit fabric. So the next pattern that I want to talk about is the Marlowe Cardigan by True Bias. This is definitely a super popular pattern and it's got such a nice wide oversized fit and it has wide neck, arm and hem bands on the pattern. You can sew this pattern in two lengths. One hits just around your waist and the other sits just above your mid thigh. So it's nice to have variations in the length. It feels very cozy and oversized. If you're looking for that type of look, this might be a pattern for you. So with this pattern, and in particular you can actually sew this in stretch or non-stretch fabric the only issue is you have to remember to make sure the binding pieces are cut out in fabric with at least 20% stretch fabrics like sweatshirting knits french terry will work really well with this pattern but i came across this gorgeous fabric and i knew it would work really well in this pattern so this is our melange cotton jersey fabric in the shade cinder and i love how much drape this fabric has. This is definitely a bit more lightweight, but I just love how much drape that has. Honestly, it's so fluid and easy to move and it just feels really cozy. Let me give you a close up of this fabric. So you might just be able to see a bit of a texture. It's a bit hard to see on this specific shade of fabric, but it really is such a gorgeous weight and I love how that moves. This colorway also is beautiful. So I know the pattern recommends using medium weight fabric and this is definitely a lighter weight version. I still think this will work really well because if you're looking for a cardigan that isn't really big and bulky, this will be a nice alternative to a cardigan that just kind of flows over you and because it has drape, it will move really nicely on your body. I really think as well, this sort of burnt orangey shade color works really well for autumn winter. It feels really cozy cozy and warm and oh I need to make something out of this ASAP. There's so many amazing Minerva makers that have sewn this specific pattern. This one from Scissors Papers Sewn is so adorable. I love that cream fabric that she's chosen and the contrasting buttons work really well paired together. She's also made another version in a light green color and I have to say I'm such a sucker for khaki green fabric. At the moment anything green, especially like a deeper green, oh looks so good and I feel like it's just one of those colors that just go with everything in your wardrobe but you can see the fabric that she's used has this really cute wiggly texture and I think that works really well for that fabric. I feel like when you're sewing a cardigan having a fabric that has a nice textured detail can really elevate the whole look. Here's another example from Crafty Professor. I really like her version too. You can actually see she's omitted the buttons on the neckband so if you're someone that finds knit fabric a bit difficult to work with and you're a bit kind of nervous about sewing buttonholes on knit fabric you can definitely just not sew the buttonholes onto the neckband and have it a bit more of a loose kind of throw over cardigan vibe. I realise as well in that example she's actually used the exact same fabric I have here just in a different shade. I think she uses the olive shade so I already know then this will work really well in that pattern pairing so this is definitely one to make if you're looking for a nice cosy cardigan. The last pattern that I want to talk about in my roundup of cosy cardigans is the Simplicity Sewing Pattern S7 for to. This feels like a really versatile pattern because if you sew it in lighter weight fabrics you'll get more of a cardigan vibe but then if you sew it in thicker fabrics you'll get more of a coat vibe. So it's a customizable pattern that comes in two different hem lengths, two different neck finishes and pockets. So the first neck finish has a straight lapel feature and then the other neck finish has more of a cascading feature so it feels a bit more dramatic. They recommend fabrics like wool, fleece, suede, anything that's a bit more medium to heavy weight and I came across this absolutely gorgeous fabric so this is the Sherpa cotton fabric in the shade soft blue I just love how this looks look at this texture oh my god let me give you a real close-up so you can see the Sherpa fabric texture that's the front and then the back looks like that Oh my god, this is going to be so cosy and warm. I can just feel it now. This is such a cosy fabric. 
and it has a bit of drape actually it's definitely more structured as you can see but it's definitely not stiff it has a nice amount of drape whilst also being quite structured oh my god this is adorable i need to make something out of this i also love the pastel blue shade in like a wintry setting this is going to look so cozy so one of our minerva makers indoor shannon actually made this exact pattern in a boiled wool and as you can see her one looks like much more of a coat i love that deep purple that she's chosen i think it works so beautifully together with the pattern just remember that this is an unlined pattern so if you're making a coat version with thicker fabric i'm not sure how you finish the insides i think it might be with bias binding so keep that in mind if you're thinking of using a thicker fabric for this pattern i just love how versatile that is as a pattern to use it as a cardigan or a coat potentially another Minerva maker seemingly immaterial also use a fleece fabric with this exact pattern and I'm not gonna lie that's what made me think oh my god fleece with this would look so cool I love that her version is sewn in black I think it makes such a lovely piece and it made me realize that you could totally sew this as a robe if you added a little waist tie to cinch you in around the waist so it really is a versatile pattern I just think this pattern and fabric pairing would make such a cozy cardigan especially one with a bit more structure I hope you enjoyed this video and you've decided to add one of these cozy cardigans to your future makes. I personally love making clothes I just get a lot of wear out of and I know when it's colder I definitely gravitate to more cozy sort of clothing so cardigans really is perfect so I'd love to hear which fabric and pattern pairing was your favourite so definitely leave a comment down below. As always all these patterns and fabric that I talked about in this video are available on our website. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.